All right, now, if we, we would move away from all the pictures of Thomas Tuchel on the front pages, which we t talked about earlier. Reeves' U-turn on dangers of NI rise. OK, this, so, so this is about trying to work out where Labour can raise taxes. And they the, the seem to be saying it's employer national insurance contributions. And Keir Starmer was pressed by the BBC's Henry Zeffman about this very thing. Let's have a look. We were very clear in the manifesto uh, that we wouldn't be increasing tax on working people and we expressly said that that was income tax, uh, that was NICS, uh, etc. So we set that out in the manifesto. But NICS just for employees? Well, it's very clear from the manifesto that what we were saying is we're not going to raise tax for working people. And it wasn't just the manifesto, we said it repeatedly in the campaign. And we intend to keep the promises that we made in our manifesto. Oh, I can see the wheels squeaking here because it's all very well said. Oh, but that, was our, that wasn't our promise. There's a bit of wiggle room there, isn't there? It's yeah. just, it makes me want to slightly tug at my hair, Jeremy. As someone well, who, well, I wanted, broadly speaking, I wanted a Labour government and I hope they do well. We all need them to do well. But the manifesto clearly said no rises to national insurance. And this is a form of... No, so it's it, it, types, was, it right? wasn't specific, as, as far as I understand it. Mm, it wasn't specific. Okay. And what, what did Rachel Reeves say just a couple of years ago? She talked about the worst possible tax rise at the worst possible time that would affect employees' pay packets, yeah. even though it's on employers. So this is going to hit working people, whichever way you look at it. it hurt. Employees are working people. And by the way, the people who run our small businesses, you don't think they call themselves working people? Of yeah. course well, do. often I know small business owners take on staff and they have to pay the staff the minimum wage and they end up paying the staff more than they're earning. There are 5.5 million small businesses in this country. I run my own small business. My husband runs his own small business. And the problem with this is it is going to hit them the worst. We are the backbone of this country. We need incentives to employ people. We need incentives to grow. You know, we don't ha we have very limited um, financial buffers to absorb this. OK, and also the payroll is a huge part of a small business's yeah. um, expenditure. It, you know, the big companies can absorb this, but payroll for a small business is huge. Mm. And finally, I would say, you know, it reduces flexibility for what a small business can do. Could they say something like... If but they you can't employ... pass the cost onto the consumer right. directly. It, what about if they said you'll, your employer NICs will go up if you employ more than five people? How's that? It's a possibility. But, but then you'd, you'd end up with companies freezing at five stars. Well, exactly. And it's still a small business. Look, yeah. the, the point is, we are in a mess. Well, I would say we're in a mess after 14 years of Tories in number 10. We desperately need to improve our public services. We way, desperately the need, need investment. It. The worry about this is that it might do the very opposite of what exactly. Labour is all about, which is growth. growth. And if this has a negative impact on growth, then it's a terrible mess. Yeah. If well, you do see. this, people are going to cut the benefits, they're going to reduce um, employing people, and this will have a negative effect on the small businesses. And by the way, small business is somebody who employs fewer than 50 people. Mm. OK, right. Well, let's see what they do. They've got to find some money from somewhere. They say it's the 14 years of the Tory disaster. The Tories say they, they started with a kind of smoking ruin post-banking crisis, then they were hit by COVID. They all blame each other for that. We haven't got any money. If, when you say you're going to raise taxes, OK, and the national insurance, define what you mean. Who is going to be hit by this? Because this is sending a lot of nervous signals to small businesses and they don't need to be stressed out and nervous at this point of time. Okay, Matt has a...